I'm sorry. I failed all of you. I have no excuse for my actions, and they're unforgivable. I made mistakes on my Smash tier list about which made up characters had sex in their stories made for children. In all seriousness, this is a short video on corrections on my list about the chastital status of every fighter in Smash Ultimate. Fuck you, Power Bread, I'll do me costumes later. Also, why does the original video have to blow up while I'm making this one? A bit of rule changes and clarifications from last time. This time the categories are more clear and I'll actually stick to them. The Smash categories were characters with undeniable proof that they have canonically had sex, be it explicitly stated or them having descendants. Next is the questionable canon smash category, which is for characters that can canonically have sex, but is unclear or not canon for them to smash. Scene speculative smash refers to characters that have scenes that vaguely describe sex. Like yeah, everybody knows what's happening. We have no true explicit statement that it did happen. Partner speculative is for characters that have romantic partner and are not underaged. And no canon proof is for characters that have no reference for them having sex. Remember, this doesn't mean that they're a virgin, it's just that there's no evidence suggesting that they're not. I'm not gonna go over all the characters I talked about last time, just watch the old video. This is more addressing the changes and controversial placements from the old tier list, because maybe then that might prevent future comments of the same Pokemon, Bayonetta, and Fire Emblem variety. Most of the characters in this section just have no evidence. Be it that the story just never goes over if they had sex or not, or there's no story at all. I already addressed the weird constant canon shifts with the Marios last time. However, I did forget to mention the whole Rosalina's mother thing. While yes, Rosalina's mother does resemble Peach, we have no clear way of knowing that it is Peach. It's kind of like the scenario of the first exalt from Fire Emblem Awakening being basically identical to Marth, but also without the confirmation that Marth had children. Also, Koizumi explicitly stated that they are not related. Theories can be fun and all, but please do not mix theories and headcanon with established canon. Also, I'm not too sure why people are saying Bowser Jr's mother is Peach. The strongest evidence for it is that Peach didn't say no, she was not Bowser Jr's mother, but a no comment response shouldn't be taken as confirmation. It kind of defeats the purpose of a no comment response. I placed Bowser lower because a few comments gave me an epiphany. There's no actual proof that Bowser did smash anyone, as no studio or partners ever mentioned. This wouldn't mean that Bowser Jr is adopted like the rest of his siblings. I'm not too sure why Ganon is such a controversial no proof. There were never mentions of any of his reincarnations having children, and being the only male in an all-female race shouldn't mean too much, as Grudels normally reproduce with males of other species. I'm not saying that it's likely for Ganon to not have sex, but just that there's no canon evidence that backs it. As for Pyra and Mithra, the question is really more if they can, due to their unique biology. But if they can, they go up a tier. The species of Pokemon that Pichu and Mewtwo belong to are physically incapable of breeding. As for the rest of the Pokemon, apparently not everybody has the same view on what they're supposed to represent. I thought it was pretty clear that we're supposed to represent a single specific Pokemon. Everybody plays the same Pikachu. Everybody plays the same Greninja. This is why they have the same moves and whatnot. The random Jigglypuff or Pikachu that you caught in the wild is not the same character as the one that appears in Smash. But apparently some people seem to think that they're representing the whole species of Pokemon, but they're interchangeable with other Pokemon of the same species. From the way I see it, we have no idea if the canon character of Smash Pokemon Trainers Charizard, or Smash Fighter Incineroar, or any of the other Pokemon have gone to the daycare to make an egg. These specific Pokemon characters only exist in Smash, we don't even know if a daycare even exists as an option for them. But if there really are supposed to be any Pokemon of that species, or they have access to a daycare, then sure, questionable canon. Mii fighters are also kinda like Pokemon, we know Mii's can have children, but we don't know if the Mii fighters have done it, or even work in the same way as Tomodachi life Mii's. Toon Link's now down here since it's actually not clear cut as I thought for him to be Spirit Track Zelda's father. While we do know Tetra is the mother, the father is unknown, and the kingdom pays no mention to Toon Link. Bayonetta has been confirmed to be a virgin by Hideki Kayama, albeit a shaking confirmation. There is nothing in the lore that states that the contracts that the witches go through include sex with demons, just that their souls go to Inferno. Shulken Fiora is a thing. Crazy how wiki pages and everything never mention it. Somehow I forgot about Birdo and Yoshi's relationship, but I think literally everyone else also forgot about Birdo and Yoshi's relationship. Terry was misplaced to begin with, so now he's in his proper tier. Donkey Kong has no canonical reference to having sex. DK Jr. is Donkey Kong's dad. Donkey Kong is really more of a Donkey Kong Jr. Jr. The Donkey Kong people are thinking of is actually just Cranky Kong. Upon even more evidence being presented, I am now confident in saying that Snake is in fact Solid, with some references to Big Boss, not some kind of mutant mix of the two. But Solid's still in this tier as the MGS1 ending where he leaves with Meryl Silverberg is apparently canon, making them being an item for a while in the canon. Breath of the Wild Link has some implied scenes with Paya and the 4th Great Fairy, and Cloud has some scenes implied with Tifa under the High Wind. Sonic in the comics has had children. We're not the same canon as Sonic and Smash, at least the character of Sonic has had sex. I know evidence if we only include the games, but it has had sex if you count the character of Sonic as a whole. The Byleths have children in some of their endings. Noble ones where this happens are male Byleth with Lysithia and female Byleth with Sylvain. 
Now this is some endings only, so we don't know for sure if this is canon or not. The Zeldas are now up here in an indisputable sex here, and since the Hyrule bloodline is still going on in the Zelda games and Zelda is an only child, there is a non-disputable guarantee that she will smash sometime in her future, unless there are other members of the royal family or pretenders that we are unaware of and that could continue the bloodline. The 3DS Fire Emblem avatars have all been promoted this year as the children are pushed so much in DLC and supplementary Fire Emblem media that it would be extremely unlikely for their children to be uncanny. It's kinda like reverse why Lucina is questionable. Sure, it's possible for these characters to not smash, but there's overwhelming evidence that they do. Also, in the other video, disregard the whole female Robin section. It was mostly based off of misremembering lines of dialogue in Smash. Another thing, if you're gonna correct me on Krom's marital status, at least do it correctly. Krom's default partner's villager made it. Don't come at me saying that's Sumuya just because you had her at the highest support level after chapter 11. Ike is still validated by Priam, there's no evidence suggesting that his existence is not canon, and he is not forgotten to drop character due to the cipher cards existing. While it's totally plausible for Priam to be a direct descendant of Mist rather than Ike, there are a few things that Priam does have that makes it way more likely for him to be Ike's direct descendant. Priam is notable for having both Soul and Luna, the two components that make up Aether. It's also impossible for Priam to naturally learn Luna, as he can't promote to a Great Knight, meaning he has to get Luna from his bloodline, but not in a way that includes Great Knights. This creates some problems with the whole Mist direct descendancy, as how do we explain Priam basically having Aether? So yeah, there are my corrections and new definitive list. I am kind of working on a bigger list with Mii Fighters and costume evolves, but don't expect that for a while. Hey guys, there seems to be a glitch on YouTube. Nobody seems to subscribe to my channel. 